Barbara Ibrahim has called Egypt home for more than 30 years, but she says the last 10 years have been tough on her family. A country is its people, which we love. A country is its history and its institutions, which we cherish. And a country is its government and its, its leadership, which we think has to change. In 2000, her life took a drastic turn when her husband, Saad Edin Ibrahim, a sociology professor in Egypt, was suddenly thrown in prison for being critical of the Egyptian government. Barbara says she couldn't believe it. Overwhelming shock was the first reaction because you don't expect a 60-year-old professor at the American University in Cairo who is law-abiding and simply was voicing his opinions. You don't expect that person to disappear into prison. Now a visiting professor at Drew, Saad says he's on a mission to see democracy thrive in Egypt. And he says spending years in prison didn't make him any less critical of the government. I, I do whatever any critical intellectual does. I do that here in the United States. I do that anywhere I was. I mean, I'm a product of the 1960s. Saad was jailed three separate times and finally released in 2003. But when he was out of the country at a conference in 2007, the U.S. ambassador to Egypt told Barbara that Saad may be in danger. He said, you know, if there were a way that Saad could just extend this trip and take a, a long summer vacation, it might not be a bad idea. And what turned into a long summer has turned into nearly three years in exile. Barbara still lives in their house in Cairo, and Saad says he hopes to go back later this year for the presidential elections. Well, you know, I'm determined to go back, no matter what. And, uh, of course, members of my family and friends and associates are very nervous about that. But I'm taking a chance. And for a guy who's determined to see democracy work in his homeland, it'll be hard to stop him. For Drew University, I'm Ted Johnson.